White Mountains, The Tripods, Volume 1, by John Christopher. Overview. The people of Earth seem to have always had the tripods in their midst. The only thing demanded is that at the time of maturity, everyone on the planet must be taken by a tripod and capped. The person returns exactly the same, but also different, with a metal plate covering a part of their skull. Humanity exists in a low-tech existence, but that's all it is, an existence. Will, his cousin, and a friend along the way find there is a resistance against the tripods in the White Mountains, but to get there is no easy task. They must survive the trip, escape those who serve on bended knee, and of course, escape the tripods. Review. Having an affinity for War of the Worlds and alien invasions and dystopian novels, enjoying stories of one man against the system and escaping society, this book probably does the best job of hitting all those marks. While being a young adult novel, being a story from 1967, this either feels more general because we've gotten less mature or the stories hold up as a generally good sci-fi. Taking place in a post-war with the tripods, humanity lives in small villages in relative peace and functions, just like any small town. In our initial setting, there's mills and churches and homes and community centers. The only catch is that around everyone's 14th birthday, a tripod caps you and you become servants to them. The big catch is that no one knows, not even us, the readers, what the tripods are or what capping even does. Aliens or robots or an unseen nation state? Mm. Capping seems to quell any rebellious spirit against the tripods, but there is something mostly off about people that our main character, Will, seems to notice at this time of capping gets closer. Will's rebellious spirit causes him to want to run away and does so when he meets a fake cap person who tells him about a land of freedom and it's off on the adventure we go. Will is a whiny teenager, but he's not without his redeeming qualities. Both sides of the swing makes him a very believable character and adds some naivete we'd expect from a sheltered life. His adventure out into the world feels very like My Side of the Mountain or Hatchet, uh, like with the looming danger of the tripods that are the unknown and unrevealed. Will's adventures out into the world and resolving to find freedom is a tale that speaks to a number of people. The setting is quickly established by mystery surrounds too much to uncover. Other than just sheer desire and the loss of one of his friends to camping, it would have been good to develop more of why Will wanted to rebel and run away. One could argue that this would limit the relating of Will, but the character is introduced well enough and it could be done with expanding out that desire for freedom and liberty or that reason why the tripod should be distrusted when everyone else seems okay with it. Will seems to grow and change, not always for the better, which again puts his character into a believable camp. He almost seems like a a young adult Holden Caulfield who would break free, but also do it alone, but then relents the isolation of being alone from his point of view. There are times when the author does a good job of showing a flourishing of understanding of striving for liberty. One line that really stands out of the turning point was, quote, I have traveled a long road since leaving the village, not only in hard reality, but in my attitude towards people. More and more, I come to see the capped as lacking what seems to me the essence of humanity, and I despise them for it. Close quote. What a great line, and a great moment of character growth, although the building to that moment seems to have lost some of the detail along the way. The unfolding of the world is done quite well. The description of the old world tech is there, but sometimes the lack of detail or description that the character doesn't have makes it difficult to guess. The author doesn't come from the Ernest Klein authorship of revealing the answer to your reader and then shoving their nose in it again and again in, some, in case someone's zoned out for the explaining of everything to them. The different types of societies discovered are odd, but also familiar. In post-apocalyptic world, you want to enjoyed the journey to see what the world has become and reading this book some 50 years after the publication you get more tones of the alien and the changed world with the uh, ya novel i don't expect long explanations about the loss of the human spirit or why religion is still practiced and clearly there would be a religion of the tripods that would form the world is built so that it's stable for believability but the imagination of explaining between the lines has a lot of freedom One of the biggest drawbacks, without spoilers, is the ending. From my understanding, there wasn't a whole trilogy planned, and the end just happens. Uh, I enjoyed the mystery of a number of plot points. Still, it didn't have the mind-blowing revelation, but the abrupt and frankly boring nature that's less than half a page is disappointing. But I'm cheating and knowing that there are three other books, which I, of course, am going to immediately read for those actual young adults. The story is straightforward and hits on the themes of the human spirit and liberty. 
for the adults who haven't lost the desire to read books about running away and being the lone person standing up against the world, you can find yourself in the story as you try to escape the tripods. Final grade, B.